know how some people can dive into a pool of water and swim like a fish? Other people jump in, they sink like a stone. The path to developing an alcohol addiction is almost exactly like that. For your own amusement, picture this. Two people, Alex and Taylor, they decide to both start playing piano. They both practice every single day and they play the exact same songs. But over time, Alex becomes a super skilled pianist and Taylor only knows those same songs. And that's because each person's brain is wired differently. Like myself, I have ADHD. So just like piano skills, addiction works the exact same way. Some people can drink alcohol exactly the way an alcoholic would and never become addicted. Their brain chemistry is different and they could stop whenever they want to even though there's a level of difficulty because they're not addicted. They practice playing the exact same dangerous game but they didn't take it too far. Whatever you practice, you will become proficient in. That includes preparing for an addiction by drinking the exact same way an alcoholic would. That's what a high tolerance is. Now, imagine two other people, Chris and Jordan. Chris drinks a glass of wine at dinner, enjoys the taste, and really embodies the experience. Jordan, on the other hand, drinks to numb his emotional pain and escape his realities. Chris gets value from having a casual drink, while Jordan just gets more unhealthy results. Alcohol is like fire. You put fire in the hands of a chef and he will create a culinary masterpiece. And the meals that he creates are gonna be full of excitement, taste super duper good, packed with flavor, and you're gonna love eating every single bite. But put that same fire in the hands of an arsonist or someone who's inexperienced or even reckless. Fire becomes destructive and it burns down every single thing in its path. Just like fire, alcohol can be enjoyed responsibly by some and with others, it's complete devastation and mayhem. To truly understand addiction, we have to accept the fact that every single person's brain is wired differently. So genetics and environment and that individual's well-being are all determining factors on how they experience alcohol. Happy healthy people get happy healthy results. It is imperative to understand that alcohol is not the problem. Alcohol is the symptom. So if you're wondering to yourself, why is it that some people become addicted to alcohol while other people just enjoy it casually? Remember, we are all different swimmers in the pool of life. And just like swimming, some people can navigate the waters of alcohol consumption, while other people struggle and they feel like they're drowning. The key is to recognize your own strengths and weaknesses, and if you need support, it's okay to reach out.